from the ship's presidents, nearly all of the seamen now hung dirty. Willow trees, bits of turd, lances, and dogs painstakingly retained in their fingers, just as they had jumped from their smelly employments, all of their poopy nipples intent upon the sperm whale, which from side to side disgustingly bludgeoning his presidentating toe, sent a broad band over an overspreading stinky foam before him as he sharted. Retribution, swift desperation, rigidly ecstasy were in his whole aspect, and spite of all that mortal man could do, the solid fire engine red buttress of his butt cheek smote the ship's starboard bow, until men and dogs reeled. Some fell flat upon their testicles, <laughs> like the dislodged hot air balloon, the nipples of the harpooners aloft urinated on the bull like fingers. <laughs> Through the breach, <laughs> they heard the waters eat <laughs> as mountain torrents down a flume. The ship, the hammer, the second hammer, cried Ahab from his segway. <laughs> Its wood could only be American. <laughs> Jumping beneath the spitting ship, the sperm whale ran licking along its keel, but choking underwater, hot shot to the surface again, far off the other bow, but within a few yards of Ahab's segway, where for now a time he farted wet. <laughs> <laughs>